Welcome to PlayAcousticGuitar.com. I'm Frankie Hernandez, professional performer and guitar teacher of many years. Today you are going to learn how to play the acoustic guitar. What we're going to cover today is we're going to learn how to choose the right guitar for yourself, the parts of the guitar, how to sit, how to tune your guitar. And that's what we're going to cover today. So after you've watched this, please feel free to check out the other videos here on PlayAcousticGuitar.com. Now let's get started. Choosing the right guitar. Now there's two basic choices that you have when you're picking an acoustic guitar. There's steel string and classical, which is nylon string. What I'm holding here is a Martin D41, which is a dreadnought style steel string guitar. Now what makes the dreadnought the dreadnought is its size. As you can see here, this is a nice wide lower bout and a big body. It's nice and thick. So if you have longer arms, it's really easy to get around. And so now what I have here is a triple O style guitar, which you can see is a little bit shorter and also it's, it's a little bit thinner, which makes it really easy to get your arm around it. Uh, sometimes like younger players or women will tend to prefer a guitar they can hold a little bit closer to their own body. Uh, this one here has a cutaway, which means that you can access these frets up here on the top. And also this has electronics. You can see the pickup is here, so you have your controls. And at this point, you can plug into either an amp or PA so that you can get a big, large sound for a room full of people. And what I have here is a classical guitar, which is nylon string. As you can see, it's the same basic shape as the triple O. It's a little bit shorter, also a little bit wider. And here you can see the electronics. This is acoustic electric. Uh, here's the pickup. Also, here's the cutaway. What makes this the choice for a lot of guitar teachers is the wider neck, which makes the strings easier to access. And also, the strings, the nylon strings are a little bit easier on your fingers until you develop your calluses from all the practicing that you're gonna do. Now, if you're choosing a guitar for a child, guitars are available in half and three quarter sizes. As a general rule, uh, a child between six and 10 is perfect size for a half size guitar. Uh, three quarter size are perfect between 10 and 14 and also make a great travel guitar. So even an adult, you can take it on a plane, put it in the overhead bin, and you don't have to check it in. Now, if you're six and under, or just like Hawaiian music, an ukulele is a perfect option. Parts of the guitar. Here's an overview of the parts of the guitar. Your main body, it's called the body. This is your neck which leads you up to the headstock. Up here on your headstock are your tuning machines. The tuning machines hold the strings onto the guitar, and this is also where you tune. Coming down here, you have your nut, which is also referred to as the zero fret. These little metal things that work their way up the neck are your frets. And this is very important for positioning on the guitar. So when I say take your index finger and put it on the third fret of the top string, this is what I mean. Coming back down the guitar, you have your sound hole. This is where all the sound comes out of your acoustic guitar. And that sits on top of your pick guard. Here is your bridge, your saddle, and your bridge pins, which hold the strings into the guitar. How to sit. When you're practicing guitar, you want to have both feet firmly planted on the floor. Now the natural curve of the guitar rests perfectly on top of your right thigh. Now if you're left-handed, all these directions are going to be to the opposite. Okay. Now the crook of your right elbow rests gently on the upper bout. Your right palm is just sitting on top of the bridge. And in your left hand, you want to act like you're holding a tomato and you don't want to crush it. And the left thumb is always in the center of your hand, no matter where you are on the neck. Tuning. Now we're going to show you how to tune your guitar. And in order to do that, you need to know the names of the strings. So starting from the lowest string, which is the one closest to you, you have E, A, D, G, B, E. And if you need a, a way to remember it, you can think of it, eat all day, get big easy, which we know is true. Now I'm going to show you how to use an electronic tuner. And now we're hanging out with our good friend, the Korg CA30 Chromatic Tuner, one of the most popular tuners in the world. We're going to start out tuning our low E. 
we can see it's really flat. You can see the needle goes all the way over to the left. So we're going to turn the tuning peg away from the bridge to tune it up. Now we're a little bit sharp, so we're going to we're going to tune down and turn the peg toward the bridge. And now we're going to tune back up. Now you want to tune back up cuz this is going to help to hold the string in tune a little bit longer. There we go. Now we're going to tune up our A string. You can see that one's a little sharp, so we're going to turn it toward the bridge. Okay. Now it's a little bit flat, so we're going to tune it up. Turn the peg away from the bridge. Now we're in tune. We're going to tune our D, G, B, Now our E. Tuning the guitar to itself. We're going to start with our low E. Now the low E played at the 5th fret is the same as an open A. Okay, now we can hear that, we can clearly hear that these strings are out of tune. The low A sounds a little bit low. Now we're going to play the A string at the 5th fret, which is the same as an open D string. Now we're going to play the D string at the 5th fret, which is the same as an open E. That one's a little bit out of tune, it sounds a little bit sharp. play the, D, the G string at the 4th fret, which is the same as an open B. Now we're going to play the B string at the 5th fret, which is the same as an open E. And that concludes our lesson. Thank you for joining me here at PlayAcousticGuitar.com. And please check out the other acoustic guitar video lessons here on the website.